There we go. So this is our squad depth for this season. So um, yeah, obviously some of those players can play in multiple positions. In goal, as you know, this is the this is kind of the weak point at the moment. And none of which Radu and Kordas. I hope, as I keep saying, that if Andanovic does have a disaster class here and there, in dog he's willing to pull Radu or Kordas, you know, make him feel that he's challenged for his spot. But it is what it is in that position, guys. There's nothing we can do. Right centre back, Skrinia, of course, is the given starter. Then Lord D'Ambrosio. And of course, Darmian can also play in there if needed. We saw last season, he even played, he can play left centre back as well, to be fair. I think that's the actual position he played in. I think it was against Sassuolo last season, if I remember correctly. He played in the left centre back of the three, Darmian, and he did quite well. But yeah, from the drop off from Bastoni is the worrying one. You know, Kolarov, um, he showed last season. It was mainly more at the beginning when we were playing the high line, but. If, in, if we play like how we've been playing recently with a high line, then with a, he's a year older as well, then he's still a big worry, Kolarov. Um, especially if you have to play him in a big game like we had last year, like when we played him in the derby. Oh my God. <sighs> still have PTSD from that. Di Marco played that position as well for Hellas Verona, but Hellas Verona is a very diff different you know, beast playing that position. And defensively is where I worry about Di Marco more anyway. So And his height especially is worrying. So there is a big drop off there. As I said, I'm fine with Ranocchia, um, but ideally we would like to upgrade there as well. But we're fine with Ranocchia as well. And, you know, he decreased his salary, fair play to him, renewed his contract. Uh, right wing back, Darmian is clearly the starter for now, but we'll see maybe by the end of the season, Denzel, Denzel Washington, <laughs> Dumfries can uh, can overtake him. Um, but yeah, we've, I think that's, a, that's a, we're sorted there. Perisic on the other side is a starter for now, but I feel like Di Marco will take over from him by the end of the season. That's my prediction um, and my hope. I finally get a Primavera guy coming in and, you know, winning, being a starter in this team. And I think his left foot is deserving of that. As long as he can sort out his um, defensive issues. Um, yeah, that's uh, defensively, we're there. We can improve there, but. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Midfield, Brozovic. Um, that's that's another area of concern a little bit because we've seen when Brozovic can have these off games like he had against Ellis Verona. Um, there's not really a true vice Brozovic. There's many players that can play the vice Brozovic as in some players can fit in there. You know, since he... For the for the national team, he's played uh, that in that position a couple of times, and he used to play that for Sassuolo as well before we signed him. But uh, Conte never played him there. But maybe Inzaghi could potentially see him there. He's definitely got the technical ability, but defensively and covering ground and tackling wise, it could be a worry um, since in that position. And we saw against uh, Hellas Verona, Barella kind of dropped into that position after Brozovic was taken off and Vidal came off. So Barella can definitely play that position, but. You would much rather keep Barella higher up the pitch in his proper box-to-box -box position in the Medzala role. Um, Agume is gone, so the other kind of natural vice Brozovic isn't there anymore. Um, yeah, so that, that position is a little bit of a concern, and we'll see how Nzagi addresses that. But usually Brozovic is pretty reliable. He hardly ever gets injured. Um, the only worries is like when he gets suspended or whatever. Um, and he's usually pretty consistent. And the other ones, yeah, same as the other position, as, as the other one, you know, they're pretty interchangeable. Hakan's definitely the left centre mid starter for now. Uh, but I think, you know, Sensi, uh, I think, is uh, right up in there. You know, it looks like Inzaghi does like Sensi. Um, physically, we look like uh, Sensi's starting to get there. His fingers crossed. I don't want to jinx him once again. But he's looking like, you know, without Pintus, he might be okay this season, maybe. Um, and then obviously, you can put you can put Vidal, Vecino on this side as well, as I've put them on this side. But it's a very versatile midfield. But yeah, the, the only real specialist position in there, the only real specialist is Brozovic. Everyone else kind of can do a role here and there. Um, I mean, even Vidal, if he's really, if you're really, you know, struggling, you could put, you can even put Vidal in the Brozovic position. But I really don't want to see that. We know what his uh, what his uh, discipline is like. I mean, if he has to play something a role like that, even. Probably, you know, oh, I forgot about Gagliardini. What am I doing? Lord Gagliardini. 
that's a apologies to to the lord there galia he's of course there but he's been injured so that's probably why uh, I completely forgot about him but of course how can I forget about Gagliardini <laughs> but yeah midfield in terms of numbers wise we're fine midfield I think you could definitely up the quality of some of the backups as we said Vice Brozovic I mean you could even we've we've talked about this you could probably even improve on Brozovic really um at some point now but it's just hard especially with the money and the lack of money um and the Hakan position as well I was hoping you know Hakan is great signing on the free you know similar characteristics to Eriksen technical midfielder set piece taker uh, can add goals and assists but i was hoping for you know that rodrigo da paul type of um, mode a ball carrying midfielder a dribbling midfielder someone that can take you out of tricky situations like you know when the hellas verona marking you man for man a guy who can take the ball and run with it rather than just passing it around and gets intercepted um something someone that adds a different dimension to the game um but fine with Hakan uh you know trying to play that Luis Alberto role I think uh, I think you I think you'll be fine um and then obviously up front this is where I think you know the we we've, we've qualitatively we'll have to see by the end of the season you know we'll have a look how many goals the strikers have scored but numbers wise we're actually we've actually improved you know last season we only had Jeco oh, sorry we had Lukaku and Lautaro those were the starters pretty much 90% of the time and then the only real alternative was Alexi Sanchez and he was pretty unreliable because he got injured here and there um and then he was mainly the Lautaro substitute really um or you know sometimes here and there Lautaro and Alexis would play together Pinamonti was not seen at all by or not hardly even used by by um by Conte here and there Perisic even played up there which was not great to be honest but this season we've actually got good depth there so we got Jeco and Lautaro as the starters now because I think that's the the starting duo at the moment but then with if Lautaro you know needs rest or he needs to be subbed as we saw against Hellas Verona you got Tuku Correa now coming in I think his position is definitely as the second striker um and of course Alexis Sanchez when he comes back uh, from injury So we've got already two alternatives to one spot there. And then obviously Lautaro can be an alternative to Jeco and Satriano who looks like he's being kept and you could also add Correa in that in that mix as well. Correa could also play as the main number 9 if really really needed because we saw against the Hellas Verona since he came on in the second striker position. Um, so you could even add Sensi in this in this part cuz uh, Inzaghi seems like he's quite happy to play Sensi there. Um, and then Correa went up in like the main striker, and he said like he play he can play both roles, but he prefers to be the this guy here, the one roaming around the main the main striker. So overall, in my opinion, um, the depth has actually got better of in the, in this in this mercato, and that's why I gave it a seven point five. The, the depth is is improved. Um, you know, with, with Sensi coming back to kind of fitness once again, I don't want to jinx him. Um, Hakan and Di Marco upgrading on Young and here the striker position we've definitely added better depth now I think overall the squad is looking really really good um so I'm I am I am quite happy with how everything how everything has worked out to be honest um yeah sorry I forgot the lord uh, lord gags um yeah Gallo will be available I haven't really checked the, the news but I think he will be available against uh, Sampdoria. Colorado still alive, yep. He's uh, still alive. Matty Dorms LCB <laughs> the backup season of course. No without Regista no. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh Vicino played brother role under Spalletti. Yeah, but if uh, Vicino receiving the ball with back to, so, with the back to, you know, the play, you know, facing the defenders uh, 